What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to do a real quick video on buying and customizing the Galaxy Super Yacht in GTA 5 Online. Now if you're thinking about purchasing one, then chances are you have a lot of money to blow because that's really what this is about. If you think this is gonna be something useful, then you're in the wrong place. But once you've gotten your money up enough, it's almost a rite of passage to buy a yacht, deck it out, show your friends a couple times, and then let it rot. Hey, don't look at me, those are the rules. Anyway, once you've come to terms with that, you can go to the website and see that there are three different options. There's the Orion, which is the basic model. It's kind of pointless to buy this one, since if you're gonna go big, you might as well get a little more out of it than this. Plus, it only has one helipad, doesn't come with a complimentary helicopter, and has the worst boats in the back of the three. The next step up is the Pisces. I've noticed some people seem to prefer this one. Apparently, it has better protection from aerial attacks and easier accessibility to the roof and the front of the yacht. But nowadays, I'm not sure how relevant those concerns actually are. I've also heard the helicopter and boats this one comes with are faster than the most expensive model, but again, how much does that matter if you're not using those vehicles for the purpose of speed? So unless you simply like the look of this one more, you might want to at least check out the last option, and that is the Aquarius. This model comes with a high-end helicopter, specifically a Super Volito, and luxury boats in the back. Comes with all the bells and whistles, and overall projects the look of power and wealth you probably thought you'd get when buying a yacht in GTA. While the choice is yours, I'm going to be using the Aquarius as the build in this video so you can see what the maximum price could be for a yacht and what it can potentially look like before you decide to purchase it for yourself. Okay, so you'll see that the first customizable option are the fittings. I think it's pretty funny how these are set up because the color scheme, which is actually the third page of the customizable options, will have the biggest impact on what the yacht will end up looking like. It's almost as if they want you to spend all this money then realize, wait, this looks awful. Let me spend even more changing it 10 more times. So to at least try and avoid that outcome, I recommend working backwards from the color scheme, then tackle the lighting page, and then come back to the fittings. Once you've chosen your color scheme, lighting, and fittings, all that's left to choose is a flag and a custom name for your yacht. Now again, I added the most expensive options so you can see the total price it can come to, which ended up being 10 million on the dot. But after seeing it all finished, I decided to go in a different direction with the color scheme, flag, and name. Now that it's all done and I'm satisfied with the final result, I'll show you what it looks like in the daytime and at night. I was surprised by how much I liked the black and the sunlight. Honestly, after seeing all the other options, the color of the wood flooring contrasting the black was a big sell for me. Add in the red on the canopies and helipad with the gold fittings, and to me, it just looked too classy to pass up. Not to mention the helicopter and the boats in the back of the ship look awesome in black and red. Now with the main color of the yacht being black, you'd imagine it might not stand out at night, but luckily the gold lighting helps it pop enough that I'm more than okay with how it came out. And I think I like it even more when I take a step back and view it from a little further away. I've had my yacht looking like this for a long time now, and while I don't have any current plans to change it, this certainly isn't the only style I'm a fan of. I've seen some pretty cool looking yachts when roaming the waters. One of my favorites looked like a Miami party boat with blue and pink lighting. Then there are some people that make it look like a battleship, and depending on how it's done, that can also look really good. In the end, it all just depends on what your style is and what makes you happy. Now sadly, this may take some trial and error, and the only way you'll truly know if you like it is to see it in person. Well, through your character, obviously. So to help try to avoid you spending loads of unnecessary money, I'm linking a video in the description that previews each color scheme option. It was extremely useful in helping me decide on how to customize my yacht. Although I must say, the color scheme I ended up using looks much better in my game currently, but at the very least, it aided me in ruling out certain styles. So I'd still give it a look if you're unsure and want to preview a bunch of options at once. It's not like it's difficult to actually buy the yacht if you have the money to do so, but it's more so how much time you could potentially put into trying to get the look you're going for. Hopefully this video gave you some insight into buying and customizing the Galaxy Super Yacht, or in my case, the Galaxy Super Soaker. If you've watched to this point, please, just for fun and a bit of a social experiment, drop a comment with the name of your yacht. I'm really curious to see what other people name their yachts. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Skull.